All right, hey, welcome to another cartoonist vlog. I am Ronko Pop. Uh, today is um, what day is it? It is November twenty eighth, two thousand twenty two. Day number eighteen of my cartoonist vlog. Uh, last week was Thanksgiving week, so tried to get some work done during that time, but you know, got a little bit. Didn't get as much as I wanted to. I think I wanted to get up to page twenty five. Um, in the Amazing Red Bee, and I did get the line art mostly done up to there, so we'll dig into that in just a minute. Yeah, as far as, um, business stuff, trying to get, uh, the books launched, figuring out how I want to crowdfund them, I'm leaning more and more towards Kickstarter. Um, I really like Indiegogo for the, for the functions that they have. I like that you can go in demand on Indiegogo. I like that you can put images on your tiers, the, the tiers the backers choose. That's cool. And, um, yeah, so I really like those two. Those, that would be awesome. But I know my book is an all ages book and most of my books are going to be all ages and those don't do as well on Indiegogo than they do over on Kickstarter. The other thing is I've backed a couple of things on Kickstarter and I find that their um, reach, I don't agree with everyone, with people's thinking of like, oh, you, you use a platform to get their reach so that they, uh, new people can find you. New people may or may not find you, but that's not really what you're using the platform for. You're using their platform so you don't have to create your own, <laughs> your own website. Anyways, back to my point, my, uh, I don't, I find that the, the reach it, Kickstarter has is well it's not only bigger because it is a bigger platform as far as the number of users they have but they have i've i've received emails from kickstarter about oh look this book just launched or this creator just launched his book and it's very similar to what i've backed in the past i don't really receive good ones if i have received them from indiegogo they're like oh look i backed a comic book oh this person just it launched a project. It's an e-bike. How about you check it out? It's like their algorithm is way off, I feel, on Indiegogo as opposed to Kickstarter. So that's just a little bit of more of a perk. But yeah, I think the main difference is going to be just the reach that Kickstarter has. And I feel like there are more all-ages books and more all-ages projects over on Kickstarter as opposed to Indiegogo. So yeah, I'm probably leaning towards Kickstarter for that. In other news, uh, I have to go to the day job in a couple hours here. Man, that place is a grind. And it's, it's for the most part, the people I work with are pretty cool. It's retail, but it's just, and, uh, it, it's just not fun. So what I'm doing recently is trying to figure out what I can do from home, what I can do on the side to give myself some money for my bills and everything, and still have time to do the comics because the comics are the main goal that's the that's the point of this vlog there was a vlog the point of it is to document my journey I guess you would call it to from being working on this as a side hustle and not making any money to finally eventually having my comics support me financially that's the end goal um whether that means making a hundred thousand dollars or something something who knows I that is not my final tally um because I can live off of much less than a hundred thousand dollars sure a hundred k would be great have that extra spending money but if I wanted to make comics and make comics my goal as to uh, my creative pursuit and making sure I can pay my bills pay my rent pay uh, my car river is almost already paid off so that's good um but yeah pay the main necessities and then have some money to, you know, maybe to go to the, well, I don't go to the movies that much anymore, but do something for myself every once in a while. That's the main goal. That's the end goal there. And I can do that for much less than 100K. So I'm, I just threw that number out there. But yeah, anyways, my point was, as far as this, that uh, I'm trying to find something that I can do on the side and that I can do like to make money to pay my bills. And maybe go down to part-time or something at the day job or eventually quit that. And it all, like I said, goes back around, comes back around to the comic books. And make, trying to make the comics my main source of income. But what I found was a couple things that I might try out. One thing is kind of like reselling stuff you find in garage sales and yard sales and, and uh, thrift stores and stuff. I've been watching a few YouTube videos on those and... There's a few thrift stores around 
where I live. So I might I might try that and just check it out, see how it goes. You can't hurt. You're not gonna know if you don't try, right? So, anyways, yeah. I guess we all kind of hate our day jobs from time to time. Maybe more some more than others. But yeah, that is the uh, that's the update for this week. Um, with that being said, let's get into the iPad and show you my updates on the comic books, The Amazing Red Bee and Madcap Wrestling. Let's check it out. Okay, so first up, we got The Amazing Red Bee. Scroll down here. So yeah, I think I was down to uh, page 20 on my last update. This past week, I got up to page 25. Um, I think, yeah, it is all, all done as far as line art. I have to change this pose on page 26 here off on the left um, because I, it's going to be a knockout punch that Ultra Dude's giving some villain, but I don't really like the pose, so I'll have to figure that out. And yeah, um, it's going, it's coming along, it's coming along. So if I could do maybe five line art pages a week, that'd be a nice steady, um, a steady, you know, growth, not growth, a steady flow, whatever I'm trying to say. Uh, making five pages a week if I could do more on some pages where like it's maybe just a bunch of talking heads like this one might be pretty easy once I get to there this is this is a red bee talking with the peanut butter his sidekick pooch and um, some other heroes that are that will make their debut in this first red bee book but yeah it's a bunch of talking heads because they're talking about ultra dude and how they like him and how red bee does not like him but that some certain pages like that could be pretty easy or easier I should say but yeah, so I'm up to page 25 as far as line art. Start working on pages 26 to 30 uh, this week. I have a few more things I have to see, like here on page 27. I have the rough outline here, but even on the bottom part, the bottom panel there, I still have to thumbnail that in a little bit better so I know what lines I'm making when I do put down the final inks. But yeah, page up to page 30 this week, and I'd be happy with that. Uh, so that's coming along and then I'll have to I'll probably take a little break from line art or not put as many pages in or try I should say try to get as many pages done uh, for the line art as I start working on colors because like I did say in the past I do like working in batches so I'll get through a couple scenes and then I'll go back and start coloring in I'm not the best colorist so I am learning as I go and coloring is taking me a little bit of time but it's coming along nicely and slow and steady wins the race right Okay, over to Madcap Wrestling. Didn't get a whole lot done as far as Madcap Wrestling goes this week. I finished, um, let's see, I finished page 14 here. These guys, uh, El Pollo Loco was taking on Max Power in Max Power's first match for Madcap Wrestling Association. And yeah, he's uh, he's, he's nailing them pretty good, but then Madcap or not Madcap, uh, Max Power comes back with a drop kick there. So I finished that one. Still working. This one should be done either today or tomorrow. That fight scene. And then I gotta, I'm got working on this next page here, which is, what page is this? This is page 16. Um, I have the thumbnails mostly done. I have to figure out what I'm really doing here. Uh, if you don't know, Madcap Wrestling is my zany comic book wrestling uh, comic book. Did I say comic book twice there? I think I did. My zany pro wrestling comic book. And basically, you know you know how um, if you're a fan of pro wrestling, pro wrestlers have their signature moves, their final moves. And basically in Madcap Wrestling, it's mostly normal wrestling for the most part. Maybe a little bit exaggerated. But their final moves, they power up. So that's why I call it Madcap Wrestling. Uh, kind of Dragon Ball Z meets WWE. So he's... El Pollo Loco is going to go for his final move. He jumps super high right here above. He has this glowing power around him that kind of looks like a rooster. And he comes down with a cockadoodle drop kick. I have to finish these uh, thumbnails here. I'm trying to get the trying to get the shape down of how I want him to be looking when he's getting charged up. But for the most part, I think that is done kind of for the thumbnails. And then I'll have to get into the other thumbnails. You can see I got some reference here for a backbreaker that's going to be happening in the next page. And uh, yeah, so as I've said in the past, Madcap Wrestling is my attempt at trying to do something a little bit smaller. They will be eventually published in large chunks. But it's, it's going to be done a little bit smaller in that I want to release them as single issues too. So 
we'll see how that goes. That's that's a little bit further in the uh, in the future, though. I'll have to I have to get this first issue done and uploaded. I'll be publishing it on my own website, digital digital copies. I'll be publishing it on my own website. I'll be putting it up on Webtoons and trying to find a few other places where I can just get the word out about it. And that's going to do it for this update of uh, my cartoonist vlog. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Um, let me know if you are a cartoonist, if you're a creative of any type. Let me know what you're working on in the comments down below. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess I will see you in a week. Hopefully I have some more new updates. I'm trying to get the new pre-campaign page up where people can sign up for the mailing list or to get notified when the campaign launches. Um, I think I'm going to try to do that this week and we'll figure out where we go from that. I don't know how long those pages can be up. I think I've heard people say up to six months, maybe longer. Hopefully it's not six months because I did want to launch the Amazing Red Bee soon in um, early 2023, the, the crowdfunding campaign for the special edition books. Uh, yep. So anyways... Uh, yeah, like I said, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next vlog.